now closing on the 8th event, well over halfway through the Marble Summer Games with Marble Soccer. In this event, the 16 countries compete in a soccer tournament where the winner moves on to the next round. Hello everybody, I'm Alex B. Let's get a quick look at our athlete of the day, Sao Paulo from Brazil. He grew up in a Brazilian favela and the oldest of 11 siblings. Living below the poverty line, basic necessities were hard to come by. But the one thing that brought the family together was soccer. The siblings formed a team and earned cash competing in tournaments. As they got better, they eventually made it to the top Brazilian soccer competition. Despite losing in the finals, Sao Paulo's leadership and teamwork got him recruited as a Brazilian leader for the Summer Games. India and Australia are first teams up in match one. There they go and the ball is out. Mumbai falling off the track and Melbourne going overboard behind his own net. And now for the tiebreaker, the kickoff, and it's going to be India scoring our first goal of the tournament. The main goal in this tournament is to score the ball on the net on your right. Philippines and USA up next, and I think the Philippines, no, it's the US that took it. Houston there are quite a bit of a problem and was late to the party. Argentina and Chile going down, and it's a draw for both teams. But wait a sec, let's look at that replay. Look at La Plata there, just hitting the ball at the right moment and barely got it in. So Paulo leading the Brazilian team against Italy and it's a draw for both sides. Can Sao Paulo lead their team to the next round? There they go once again and yes they will. Paulo kicked the ball at the perfect angle bouncing off team Italy and into their goal. Now Spain and Canada. And a good goal for Team Spain. It's a good goal, but I have no idea why Barcelona tried to stop it. It seemed like it was opposite day for him. Mexico and Malaysia. And Mexico getting the lead they finally needed. And Team Malaysia frustrated kicking it in their own net. Indonesia and UK. And an excellent block there by Manchester. That puts the teams into a draw. We have to go into round two. There they go for the second round. And London losing his footing and going right into the fans. Balls once again out of play. And we have a few fans trying to steal some UK merch. I'm sorry, but an athlete is not a souvenir. They're both still tied. Who's going to take it? Nice hit off that wall, deceiving the UK marbles. And the ball just rolls right into their goal. I don't see that often. The last match of round one, Russia and Japan. And it's going to be Japan taking home the last spot in round two. And with round one passed, only eight marbles remain in round two. Let's see who makes it to the semis. Our first match, India and USA. And two Indian marbles kick it in their own net. The teams have more opportunities to earn points as we have two different soccer balls. Argentina and Brazil in round two. And I think it might have been Brazil. But Argentina does a majestic save. Corboda rushing into that net, stopping the two-pointer from entering Brazil's goal. Now Spain and Mexico, and it's going to be Spain moving on to the semis. Securing that two-pointer, and that'll rob Mexico's chance of earning a medal once again. Now Indonesia and Japan, and the two-pointer just comes to rest in the Japanese net. But it's in, which gives Japan two extra points. Now for the semifinals, let's see who moves on and see who gets third place. First match, Argentina and the States. Who's going to take it? And two members from each side falling off the field. New York and La Plata. And Buenos Aires couldn't get to the ball in time. Now Spain and Japan. Who's going to move on to the finals? And Spain knocks the two-pointer in. Man, Barcelona. Excellent kick there. Beating Japan 2-0. Them and Argentina now battling for third place. And Argentina gets their first medal of the games. Before we go into our final match, these countries have went through a lot since the first event. Check out the first half of the card on your top right and follow their journey. And now the final match. Can the States earn their second gold medal? And it looks like the States just nudged the three-pointer in. We added two more soccer balls to further intensify the finals. A best of three. USA taking race number one. Let's see who takes the second one. In the field. The soccer ball is moving closely, but I think the States were just able to land one. Yes, they did. With them landing that two-pointer, they're going to be getting their second gold medal of the Marble Summer Games. Stay tuned next week as the Marbles go wrestling in event number nine, but it's still anybody's game. See you later, everyone.